Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode. We have a very simple basement and what I want to do is actually not in the construction set. We're going to look at Lucius ring. It's a very unique ring that he gives you as a quest reward and I want it to look unique. Right now it uses the, the mesh, the, the, the shape called C ring extravagant one. The extension is NEF, that's the, the name of the files. And to modify those, we're going to go and fire up NIFScope. NIFScope is possibly the simplest tool. Blender is obviously a lot more powerful, but for what we're gonna do today, that is just fine. I'm gonna go open, and well, that's perfect. I have it there selected already. If you go back, I know that this particular mesh is in the C folder and it's called C Ring Extravagant 1. If we have a quick look at the way uh, Bethesda organized its folder, we have the meshes, so that's all the shapes, all the objects. They, I have an awful lot of modded content, but A is going to be all the armor pieces from the vanilla Morrowind, C is going to be clothes, D is going to be doors. Much like you know, you, you're learning your way uh, in the construction set, you're going to learn your way in how the folders are organized. And we said C ring extravagant one. Da, 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 da. There it is. All right, this is the one we want to modify. To modify different parts, it's extremely simple. You're just going to select, like you click on the different parts and then you'll be able to see which is the part. But before we do anything, anything at all, you're going to go to Options, Settings, Resources, and Auto Detect Game Path. This is going to teach your NIF scope where to find the Morrowind textures and you see if you have Skyrim and Oblivion installed and a bunch of other games, I think Fallout as well, it's going to go right. This is where I am looking for the textures. This is extremely important. I'm going to show you why in a second. Say I want to modify this. I want to replace it. This is the texture. We're going to click on the purple flower and now my NIF scope is, uh, you know, it's been trained and it knows that I need to go to the data file textures. I have an awful lot of textures in there and a lot of them are modded content. I can't use that, but um, yes, Emerald. We can use the basic texture for the Emerald. Oh, Texture Jam Emerald. There we go. This is it. Now, the mesh is going to look for the texture in the texture folder. If you haven't taught your game where to find the texture, this is what it's going to do. It's going to put the whole path here and say, when you are showing this item, you're going to go to D, Morrowind mod, data file, textures, not with the double T's there, but it doesn't matter textures to find the texture. Fine, brilliant, it's gonna work on my computer because that's exactly where the texture is. However, anyone that has not installed their game on D in a folder called More in Mod is going to end up with an error on loading the game, which they might not see because yes to all is activated for most people. And when they actually have the ring in the game, it's gonna show as white. The texture is just not going to be there. So teach your NIF scope where to find your textures. That way, the only path shown is going to be up there, texture, and it's gonna know where to find, I don't want to do that. It's gonna know where to find your textures. All right, we also want to change the metal. In, uh, in uh, the folders, typically, all the textures start with TX underscore, so that's how you know it's going to be vanilla textures, and again, you, you have to get to know them pretty well. You want to be careful not to use someone else's resources if you're not sure that you have the right to do that. For now, I'm going to look for some um, metal that we could use. 
This is uh, this is a uh, stupid stars. This is someone else's rusty metal. No, border metal zigzag. Hey, hey, you know what? That's that's not bad at all. That's pretty fancy, isn't it? I like that. That that bit right there doesn't look very pretty, but maybe we can do something. You're gonna go right click texture edit uv and it's going to uh, bring up the uv editor and what it does is this is the texture that i've selected and this is the uv map of the object you can clearly see the band and the gemstone so by moving these around you can see my textures right there i should shrink that a bit there we go by moving these around you see I'm changing which part of the textures I'm reading or displaying. How about that? I like that. Look at that. It looks like the center is darker and here we have the whole line. I like that. You can also move individual dots separately but you're very likely to mess it up and, uh, and have some really really wonky textures. I'm going to show you just for the sake of it. Oh, that's the whole thing selected still. Where have I? Right there. You see, that's what I've done. So you could really, really mess up the UV map. You know what? I like that. There it is. I have a brand new ring, only using vanilla textures. Obviously, if you're really good with uh, Photoshop and can create your own textures, go for it. There's also uh, some textures that you can use for free. There's a bunch of modest resources again, as long as you read the README to make sure you, you have the right to use it and give credit. You have infinite possibilities and all of a sudden, your toolbox with all these objects is just exponentially multiplied. Now I have a new object. I am not going to overwrite the vanilla texture otherwise every single ring, every single extravagant ring number one is gonna look like that which really really defeats the purpose. Save as. I'm gonna navigate to my own folder. You see most models like to have their own folder. It's a lot tidier that way. I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna call it. Actually, I should have yes, Nusius ring. And now back to the construction set. This is Nusius ring, and for once, it's all right. I actually want to modify the vanilla item. This Nusius ring, I want to give it a different nif, a different shape. Well, really, it's a different texture right now. Save. And let's have a look at the result. I like it. I like it. There we have it. A new ring. Almost perfect. There's no reason for me to change, you know, the value of the ring or the curse of the ring. Really no reason. I'm not going to do that. However, we do have a tiny problem there. This icon is not quite right. That's what we're going to do next week. See how we can create icons for Morrowind. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye bye.